This is the guide of George Outdoors, and today we are at George L. Smith State Park just outside of Twin City, Georgia. This 1600 acre state park has camping, it's got hiking, it's got cottages, it's got playgrounds, but no doubt the main attraction is this right here behind me, this 400 acre mill pond. Today we're going to see if it's worth coming. Park office, and I'm with Morgan. You're the park manager, right? right? So tell me about this place, Morgan. What uh, what brings people to this place? Well, the lake is the biggest attraction. It's a 412 acre lake. People go kayaking, fishing out on the lake. Normally, we rent boats out here, can canoes and kayaks. Um, right now, with COVID-19, we're not allowed to do that. Tell me some of the history about the uh, the mill over here. The bridge, the mill was built in 1880, and it was used as a thoroughfare through this area, also used as a grist mill, sawmill, and cotton gin. Um, the grist mill is still operational. We do it for demonstrational purposes only. And I know there's a lot of kayaking and fishing goes on here out here. What is a, as a fisherman, what can someone expect to go after out here? Largemouth bass, uh, brown shell cracker, crappie, catfish. So pretty much any fish in Georgia is gonna be pretty found out here. That's correct. Okay. Well, I appreciate your time. We're gonna finish taking the park out and uh, we might even put the kayaks in today. Right, Thanks a lot, man. They've got 18 of these RV sites where you can uh, bring your camper or a tent, whatever you like to do. They've already got water and power, and you've even got close access to the water. But trust me on this, you want to plan in advance because this place will get packed on the weekend. about you but I like the idea of camping sometimes more than actually camping and I prefer air conditioning so if you don't have a camper and you don't want to stay in a tent they have these cottages and that's where we're gonna be staying so uh, let's go inside I stayed in a lot of state park cabins when I was a kid and they really put a bad taste in your mouth. But these are super nice. These are uh, some of the highest end state park cabins I've ever been in. Two full bedrooms with, queen, with two queen beds in each one. Two bathrooms, very well appointed. Um, they've, even, they've even thought of the board games. This place is super nice. I wouldn't mind bringing my family, my two girls, to come stay a weekend in a place like this. Fully screened in back porch, which is a great touch because if you've ever been down in Georgia this time of the year, you know the sand gnats and mosquitoes are horrible. And even though you're right in the middle of a state park, you are extremely proud right here. So this is a nice place to stay. This park went under a lot of renovations uh, in the past couple of years and invested a lot of money. And one of the things was this group shelter, which is really popular for family reunions, get togethers, even weddings. And they have a full service kitchen, restrooms, all the above. So this is a great place for your next get together. And it's beautiful. Right now we're in the historic mill, which is literally like a step back in time. Um, they've actually turned into a museum, so it's a really neat thing to check out. Um, we've already checked the park out. There's only one thing left to do. It's time to get the kayaks and hit this pond. Under non-COVID-19 circumstances, they do have kayaks and boats for rent. Um, so if you don't have one, don't worry, you can uh, borrow one when you get here. 
they do have a limit of nothing bigger than 10 horsepower which is really good because uh, you don't have to deal with the boats going by and messing you up while you're kayaking or fishing but otherwise it's a peaceful pond it's a really dark water and uh, pretty fun to kayak in we're going to continue with this trip As much fun as this is, I do have one word of advice. Do not do this midday during July. Probably not the best time because it is about 100 degrees right now. But other than that, we're having a good time. These little red markers kind of have the trail identified because it would be pretty easy to get turned around in here because it all looks about the same. So uh, those can come in handy. Kind of at a fork, I'm gonna go that direction. This is actually one of the more peaceful kayak trips I've ever been on. And although it's like 93 degrees, there's a lot of shade in here, so it's not too bad. But this, uh, this trail just keeps going on. Just worked up a good lather. We've been kayaking for a couple hours. It's, uh, I'm not even sure we're even close to the end of the destination here. So we're gonna turn back. This is definitely a multi-day kayaking trip. A lot of fun, very peaceful. I know there's gators out here, but we have not seen any. And gators, the rule of thumb is just don't mess with them and they won't mess with you. So uh, we're gonna head back. I would definitely recommend when you come to Georgia Smith, you gotta bring your kayak or rent a kayak and come check out the trails. Time to head back. Well, that's it for our trip to George L. Smith. A lot of fun. Um, you could go kayaking each day and have a different route each time. I would definitely recommend this place. It's a lot of fun. The accommodations are good, whether you're wanting to camp in a tent, whether you want to bring your RV or even stay in a cottage. There's places to rent for family reunions or get togethers. So overall, it was a great time. Would I recommend this place? Absolutely. Was it worth coming? Definitely was. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this was give you some insight about coming to George L. Smith. But until the next episode, this has been the unofficial and no doubt incomplete guide to Georgia Outdoors. Mm -hmm.